the main thing that you use in engine braking is your clutch. What's up everyone? Welcome back to our channel, Ali and Sean. Today's edition will include engine braking and I believe engine braking is one of the vital parts of riding a motorcycle and engine braking can come through anytime, any place, anywhere, any turn, any light and uh, so we're going to do a video on this. When we are approaching a red light for instance and if you're coming at like 60-70 miles per hour and all of a sudden you get a red light in front of you, you could use brake uh, which is about 70-30, 80-20, 60-40, however However, your state teaches you for our class. I remember they were taught like 70 30. So you're supposed to use your front brake for 30% and your rear brake for 70%. And you're supposed to use them together. So don't ever use one brake over the other more. Just try to use them together, but use the rear brake more than the front brake. But do use them together that way, uh, that way your bike stays straight. Engine braking comes through in that it, where you can just uh, lower the speed of your bike. Uh, Lower the speed of your bike without even putting any pressure on your brakes and you can only use the brakes you can use the brakes towards the end where there's least amount of pressure on your brakes so that way you can increase the longevity of your brakes and it's also in my opinion it's a healthier way of slowing down your motorcycle people have different opinions uh some people use do you do use brakes who ride really carefully so they don't have to put too much pressure on their brakes so they don't really need to do engine braking and shout out to all these people riding before I continue this video on the road, I'll cut to the video of me stationary showing you the what uh, important parts are used for engine braking, how to use engine braking on a standstill bike, and then we'll come back to this on the road. So now we'll, we'll just show you guys the mechanics of how to, uh, how to do engine braking. So this is a quick snippet of the main functions of engine braking. So you, the main thing that you use in engine braking is your clutch, right? Right now I don't have my key inside because I'm showing you in the off bike how to how to use the engine braking, what are the functions and how do you use engine braking. So the first thing you will use for engine braking is your clutch, your throttle, and your gears. So these are the three features that that work simultaneously. So first thing is your clutch. You, you hold in your clutch, then you use your throttle, and then you shift uh, using your shifter okay so these are the three things that will go into uh, doing engine braking so basically your left foot your left uh, your left foot your left arm and your right hand are the main things that you would use for engine braking so let's say for instance you're in fifth gear and you're going 80 90 miles per hour right so you want to come down, you're approaching your light, you want to come down, you want to shift down to second gear to slow down completely, right? So what will you do is, if you watch my hands and my leg all simultaneously will work together. So the first approach is I will hold in the clutch, now my bike is in neutral, right? I will shift down to my fifth gear or fourth gear from fifth to fourth gear and then I will grip the throttle to match my engine speed with the RPMs and then I'll let go of the clutch. So all this happens together simultaneously. So if you see it again, I'm, I'm gonna go from fifth gear to fourth gear, right? So let's say I'm going fifth gear, I'm going to fourth gear, I am approaching a stop, I wanna lower my speed. So I go clutch in, lower the gear, boom, let go of the clutch, blip the throttle, let go of the clutch. Again, you go clutch in lower the gear blip the throttle and let go of the clutch your blip is like a good amount of blip it's not like a slight blip it's a good amount of blip as you will see me doing that on the road and again he was uh, the same camera angle will show you better so you see right now let's say I'm on some gear right I'm on six six whatever sixth or seventh gear right so right now I'm going I'm going I want to lower down I hold in the clutch I lower the gear, I blip the throttle, I let go of the clutch. Lower the gear, blip the throttle, let go of the clutch. You see that? How all these things are working together. How my foot is uh, simultaneously working with my hands. There's a slightly, like milliseconds of gap on each movement. So boom, 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 boom. That's how you keep shifting down. It's basically how you change gears. How you go up the gears is basically coming down the gears. The difference is you're just matching the RPMs. So you're making sure that your your engine RP our engine speed is matching the RPM of the speed of the bike, so your bike doesn't lag or doesn't get doesn't get uh doesn't 
get shut off or it, too much pressure is not put on your engine into into slowing its speed so we'll go back to the video hope hopefully this made sense to you guys i'll do that one more time for you guys you hold in the clutch you lower the gear you flip the throttle boom 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 see it boom that's how is the movement that works together now you will see me do that on the road so you guys will have a more live action of how this process works it's a very very simple process it takes a little while to get used to it once you get used to it it's a second thought it's not even um something that you have to look forward to doing it becomes inst instinctual and it will be really really easy to do so now we get on the road and you guys can see how we do this on the road let's see if i'm in my fourth gear and i'm on going 60 right and all of a sudden this front brake uh, front car started decides to slow down right like right now i'll oh. go boom you see how the bike starts slow down i'm on third gear i'm gonna ride 45. i was at 60 one gear shift down i did one engine braking one shift down i'm at 45 right and I didn't put any pressure on my bike. I didn't put any pressure on my brakes. I didn't even use brakes. I didn't even touch brakes and I was I slowed down. So that's one of the main reasons why you use engine braking, right? I'm back at fourth gear, I'm about 56, 57, 62, 63, 65. Let's say I'm at 70, right? And we will approach a light ahead. And as you can see ahead, there's a red light approaching and I'm on fourth gear. So I might have to stop all the way down, right? So I would use brake here, which will put pressure on my brakes, which is normal to use. Or I could just go one, third gear, second gear, right? Usually you don't want to come to one gear while riding the motorcycle. You want to come to first gear when you're on a stoppage. So second gear is the gear you want to come to when you're about to slow down uh, to like 10, 15 miles per hour. Hey, So, there you go. That was a simple. You see how the bike sound starts to go down? and it smoothly comes to a halt, which is very, very satisfying. Once you start doing engine braking and you've become so addicted to it, you wanna do a perfect engine braking every time because the, the amount of satisfaction you get from hearing the engine noise uh, slowly come down is very, very satisfying. Now I'm approaching almost 90, right? And I wanna slow down now. Boom, I'm fourth gear. Bike comes down, 70, 66. Boom. Now I'm back to 53rd gear, 54, 53. I had to do no brakes. I had to do nothing on my brakes in order to slow that bike down. One thing would be, if as you can see on the right, there's a turn, right? How this car is going. Imagine if you're going 60, 70 miles per hour and all of a sudden uh, you realize you have to take this right turn, right? So in order to take the right turn, you would brake hard. That could cause bike to slip. Um, you would need to do engine braking where you could just boom boom come down three gears and you could take a all right turn smoothly I'm, so let's see i'm approaching this light i have to take a left right so i'm at fourth gear and i go boom third second slow it down shout out to these people and boom i am good to go now i'm on my first gear because i was at a stop now i can smoothly take a left turn with that being said this concludes today's video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys need some more information please comment below we will answer every each and every question that we can possibly answer please keep that in mind these are our personal opinions personal writing experience we are no professionals uh, if you guys haven't subscribed please subscribe to our channel almost 99 percent of the people who view our videos are not subscribed to our channel and we are approaching our goal of thousand subscribers each and every day we are thankful for each and every one of you guys for watching our videos our views have gone tremendously higher than they were previously and it's because of you guys 